In part three of the Jazz Everyone Language System Overview, we'll start with a visit to the free lesson in the player's corner. The free lesson is a six-pack warm-up and review of jazz fundamentals that will be helpful in applying to pentatonic pairs at a higher performance level. The lesson text in the player's corner is given orally in a classroom format with printer-friendly materials to study. In the free lesson, you'll see how one of the 12 notes in Western music becomes the most important note, or a tonal center, when it's placed a fourth or fifth apart around the outside of a circle. And when I play from note to note clockwise around the circle with a 4-4 beat, the magic happens. The note on the downbeat becomes the most important note, and a tonal center, a place of rest. One. One, two, three, four. When a set of whole steps are placed on the inside of the circle, what I call the pentatonic pairs are born. These pentatonic pairs are a part of the pentatonic system and when they are sequenced clockwise around the circle they form melody change through the chord changes. This is learning step number one in my jazz language system. <laughs> The six-pack lessons are based on the five steps introduced in part one and two of this overview. In lesson one, the major third is added to the pentatonic pairs and combined with the minor blues patterns and the flat five. Here's how they sound. One, two, one, two, three, four. Playing vocabulary in all keys is a major part of the work presented in the six-pack. The regular lesson format for each six-pack lesson includes a fixed rhythm drill, ear training exercises, and a jazz original. Also, a list of supplementary and enrichment materials are listed beneath the video of each lesson. These include the immersion zone, the vocabulary workout, the chromatic drills, and making music. You'll find these in the player's corner menu. Lesson 2 continues to develop a visual association with a set of graphics that move the pentatonic pairs with the major third and some blues patterns through the descending 2-5-1 chords around the dominant cycle. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here's a little taste of the Lesson 2 Jazz Original I call Trailing On with On the Trail Changes. <laughs> Thank you.
In lesson three, pentatonic pairs are embellished in the kicking back theme. This jazz original with the descending 2-5-1 changes studied in lesson two is based on Miles Davis' tune -up. Here's a little improv using lesson three concepts. One, two, one, two, three, four. In lesson four, vocabulary for the Dorian minor mode is expanded with symmetric patterns found in the pentatonic system. Here's a few examples of those sounds. One, two, three, four. In lesson four, Simplicitude, a two chord Dorian mode original, provides a musical canvas for this AABA song form. This tune is based on John Coltrane's impressions. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Lesson 5, learning steps number 4 and number 5, aka the bebop scale, are center stage when chromatic half steps connect and embellish the pentatonic pairs in the A section of our rhythm tune original, Handy Andy. <laughs> Now, here's a little sample of Handy Andy. In lesson six, learning step number five, the flat seven setup with the pentatonic pairs, is developed in all keys. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Now, the flat seven setup goes to work in a satin doll knockoff I call net and so. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Before we move on to the Diminished 3 pack, let me again remind you to use the Immersion Zone, the Chromatic Drills, the Making Music series, and the Vocabulary Workout as recommended. You'll find them again in the Player's Corner menu. And now we're in the Diminished 3 pack, where real players are born and learning step number 5 is put to work in lesson number 1, finding the sweet spot for starting the diminished scale patterns on the flat 7 setup. Temporary sound is created by sequencing first inversion triads formed on each step of the three diminished ladders with a dominant seventh chord. Okay, here's a little taste of Sweet G.A. Brown, another knockoff that I call Sweet Demi Brown. This incorporates the sounds of the diminished seventh in its theme. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> In Lesson 2, my diminished ladder concept is revealed and related to the three squares formed on the dominant cycle. This cycle will help you visualize the movement of these diminished patterns up and down the diminished ladder. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two steps on the ladder are used on this minor 251 exercise. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> one of the many symmetric reference patterns played up and down the diminished ladder. <laughs> What is this thing is the Lesson 2 original that features the diminished sound in its theme. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
lesson three. The flat seven setups are moved up four steps on the diminished ladder, creating a wide range of altered chord vocabulary. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> More challenging symmetric patterns are introduced up and down the diminished ladder. Nuevo es bueno, the Lesson 3 Jazz original, provides an ideal opportunity to develop some very hip vocabulary for the 251 in a minor key. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Now, we'll move on to the half-diminished two-pack. In Lesson 1, the half-diminished chord tones provide an important sound and color for a 2-5 in the bebop language. Listen to the half diminished chord tones provide the tritone vocabulary in this blues. <laughs> In Lesson 2, the half-diminished chord tones form a variety of altered chord vocabulary on the diminished ladder. One, two, one, two, three... <laughs> Perdido and three other jazz classics are embedded with the half diminished chords and substitutes in the correct measure. One, two, one, two, three, four. Before we move on to part four, let me mention the Toon Time series, a three-level collection of popular jazz tunes with video instructions, a dynamite listening reference, and study materials based on all of the player corner materials. 
This series is correlated with volume 54, a Jamie Abersall publication with a complete rhythm section supplement. This concludes the work in part 3. In part 4, the pentatonic pairs are put to work in 10 jazz standards. Thank you.